Hello and welcome if you're new to my channel and if you're a subscriber, a warm welcome back. This video is a continuation of my sunglass recommendation video which I first released a couple of weeks ago. In that video I recommended three brands and I'll include that video at the end of this video. And in this video I'm focused in, on recommending another five brands. I have two British brands, an American brand, a Danish and a French brand. The first brand, the British brand Kirk Originals, is within your, uh, your premium core and that's sunglasses that are priced between 200 and 400 pounds and the focus is very much on the quality and price is secondary. The next three brands are Linda Farrow, which I got a lot of interest uh, when I released the first video and I, I had questions about what do you think about Linda Farrow and um, I wasn't going to include Linda Farrow and that's not because I don't rate the brand. They're just a number of brands and I, I tried to choose a diverse selection to incorporate a good range of styles. So uh, Linda Farrow, I also have in there Jacques Marie Marge, the American brand and Jacques Marie is a French designer. And then the third brand is a Danish brand called Lindbergh. Those three are within your super premium. Super premium is your sunglasses that are priced between 400 pounds and 700 pounds. And the focus is on quality. Price is not an issue. It's all about quality within your super premium. And then the final brand, a French brand called Maison Bonnet, uh, right at the top end of the luxury market um, in, the, in the bespoke category and their sunglasses start from 990 pounds and with uh, your bespoke category of luxury right at the very top end I'm going to also include above a video where I talk about the different levels of luxury it's about everything you're buying into the prestige associated with the brand the heritage the craftsmanship the quality of the materials the exclusivity of the product so you're paying for all of that goodness uh, within that premium I'm Ines Sussagonda and I produce educational luxury content for anyone after the finer things, whether you're young and starting out in life and wanting to reap the benefits of buying quality from the get-go, or you're new to money and wanting to learn how to navigate the terrain, or you're into luxury but you want to focus more on quality under the radar brands, then my content is geared towards you. Kirk Originals is focused on producing sunglasses that are entirely handmade in Britain. They have two ranges, an entry range priced from £225 and then a top range from £425. Both ranges are produced from the exact same materials, uh, the same lenses, uh, the same Mazzuccelli acetate. Mazzuccelli is an Italian family business that dates back six generations and they're one of the leading acetate producers. And the hinges are German from OBE. So the focus is on the German engineering, the precision, and of course the phenomenal build quality of the hinges. Where they differ is how they are cut and also the level of handwork that goes into the glasses. With the entry level, the glasses are all cut en masse from a sheet of acetate. They're laser cut using CNC, a computer program and then they're sent to the United Kingdom and then hand finished. Whereas with the top range, they are individually cut from a sheet of Mazzuccelli acetate. And one artisan will typically do the bulk of the handwork and they do additional handwork to the glasses. And then they are finished in the factory by other artisans, which means one artisan is making the majority of the glasses, so their production capacity is limited. They're typically making batches of about 10. And there are also very few companies in the United Kingdom making sunglasses, um, with very few apprentices coming through the ranks. So it's an art form that's slowly dying. And in another 50, possibly 70 years, it'll typically be extinct. Um, Kirk Originals are known for their classic vintage style glasses and their sad aviators are particularly uh, popular. Sad is seasonal adjustment disorder, which is the yellow lenses. They're meant to pick up your mood during the gloomy months and they've done very well for Kirk Originals. But they've also collaborated with a number of industry titans. Think, for example, David Coggins. They've collaborated with the Rake. 
Um, the rake is very similar to the armory that I spoke about when I was in New York. I'm going to attach the video above. And the rake retail, a very carefully selected um, selection of brands that are under the radar and very much focused on quality. And they've also collaborated with the Rolling Stones and they have the signature lips on the sunglasses. But because it's a small brand, it means you can also add your own tweaks to the sunglasses. So if you'd like your initials, for example, or in my case, what drew me to the brand is one of their top ranges called the Erno. I particularly like the Erno squared oval shape with the paddle arms. And I really like the glasses, but the issue is I have a flat nose bridge. So they would need to build in a nose pad for me. So that will take a little bit of time to coordinate and uh, produce. So that's something I'm working on. But I, I really like the brand. I like the quality of the materials they're using. The British craftsmanship that's gone into it is absolutely phenomenal. And of course, the designs of the glasses, they're classic, they're timeless. You can wear them for many years to come. They're going to be durable um, and robust from the materials and how they're made. And they are, to me, the best. When it comes to buying British, it's brands like this that really uphold the standard. My second brand is another British brand, Linda Farrow. And Linda Farrow is a British fashion designer from the 70s. The brand was started by her son, Simon Jablon, and he started off selling her vintage sunglasses. And as that started to pick up traction, he then founded Linda Farrow Sunglasses. It's um, a brand that uses Italian acetate, Japanese titanium, and the glasses are handmade in Japan. The styles are incredibly modern and fashion forward, and they have three distinct ranges. The core range is the super premium that I categorize them in. Those are sunglasses priced from 400 to 700, and it's all about the quality. Price is not even a consideration. It's quality all the way, Japanese titanium, Japanese handmade as well. But they've collaborated with a number of typically fashion forward brands within the industry. So they have a slightly lower price point range. Um, they've collaborated with Philip Lim in the, fast, in the past. They're currently collaborating with um, Attico. Attico is a young up and coming hip brand and the glasses are around the 190 pound mark. They've also collaborated with a brand that's equally fashion forward, Dries Van Norton, and the glasses are around 250 pounds. And then their core offering is between 400 and 700 pounds. They also have a range at the top end called the precious metals. Sunglasses that are priced from about 750 to 900 pounds. And they have a couple of collaborations in there as well with the good and the great from the fashion world. Think Ralph and Russo, think um, Alexandra Rich, for example. But Linda Farrow is very much a fashion sunglass brand with fashion forward pieces that are incredibly eye-catching and very well made. My third recommendation is a brand that literally can do no wrong in my eyes. It's Danish brand Lindbergh. The Germans are known for their precision, their engineering, their phenomenal build quality. The Danes are known for being discreet, classic elegance of their products and of course the considered simplicity in their designs. The designs are simple but the products are still incredibly highly performing, highly functional and that is Lindbergh to a T. Their glasses are largely made from titanium. Titanium as you know is incredibly lightweight, it's strong, it's flexible and they're like wearable pieces of artwork. They're all designed and made in Denmark and each uh, pair of sunglasses comes with its own unique product code and your name is also inscribed into the sunglasses. I absolutely love Lindbergh sunglasses. They are like, as I mentioned, wearable pieces of artwork, incredibly simple, but the designs are so sleek, so elegant, incredibly elevated. You look sophisticated in their glasses. I've yet to meet somebody who has put on a pair of Lindbergh sunglasses and they don't look good. Provided they work with the shape of your face, they look expensive. I remember literally weeks before lockdown, going into an opticians and trying on a pair of Lindbergh glasses. And then when I went back after lockdown, trying to locate the glasses, we couldn't find them. And my heart to this day is still sore. 
I am going to own a pair of Limburg sunglasses one day. I aspire to owning their glasses, finding something that works with me because it'll be one of the best investments ever. They're incredibly pricey, but you get your money's worth. They are in super premium, as I've mentioned, which is 400 to 700. But with Lindbergh, they start from 400 and go well up to 2,000 pounds, depending on the style you've gone for. My fourth recommendation is Jacques-Marie Marge, the sunglasses I'm wearing. Jacques-Marie Marge himself is French and the brand is American and based in Los Angeles. And it's a brand over the last few years that has gained quite the cult status. Their sunglasses um, have become collector's items. They're addictive. Once you have one pair, um, it's almost impossible to not want a second pair, a third pair, a fourth. You're just limited by availability. The focus is very much on incredibly bold designs and they produce limited runs of all their sunglasses. So they produce between 250 to 500 per pair of glasses. So opticians will typically get one, two pairs maximum per um, allocation. And once they're gone, they're gone. The brand doesn't repeat um, a style again. And they're produced using the highest quality materials and entirely handcrafted in Japan. The hinges they use on Jacques Marie, uh, Marie glasses, the best I've ever seen. I've never seen such hinges on any other brand. You're getting an incredibly solid product. I remember when I was going around speaking to different opticians and researching glasses and sunglasses and looking for a pair or two for myself, I would look at Jacques Marie glasses literally from a distance and never be tempted. I, I thought the designs are too bold. They just wouldn't work for me. And then the one time someone said, hey, try on the Jacques Marie Marge and tell us what you think. And I was absolutely blown because firstly, prior to trying on the glasses, I'd been trying on a similar pair from Barton Pereira. And when I put on the Jacques Marie Marge glasses, I really liked how they looked on me first and foremost. And then the fact that they were heavier than the Barton Pereira pair I, was tr I had tried on prior, but they were a lot more comfortable than the Barton Pereira pair. I was like, oh my goodness, this is amazing. And I just couldn't put the glasses down. I tried on a darker pair in terms of the lenses. It's the same style as this, but I ended up going for a lens that was slightly lighter. But I'm umming and ahhing whether to go with the darker lens um, because these are Jacques-Marie Marsh sunglasses are collector's items. It's very easy to sell them. They are hard to come by first and foremost, but there is a thriving secondary market. So I'm thinking, should I sell these and go, to the, go for the darker pair? I don't know. Tell me what you think. But... In terms of a solidly made pair of sunglasses, they're substantial, they are comfortable, they are incredibly bold, the designs that they produce, but you're getting the finest quality materials, the best hinges, you're getting a solid pair of sunglasses. There isn't a brand in the market pr producing glasses to this standard. My final recommendation for this video is French brand Maison Bonnet. But I will create another video where I'll recommend a number of other niche sunglass brands, but my focus will be more on Japanese brands. As I mentioned at the beginning, Maison Bonnet is focused on producing sunglasses right up at the top end when it comes to levels of luxury. They are focused primarily on bespoke sunglasses. You come in and see the brand in one of their two stores, one in London, one in Paris, and you come in with um, a design, a style in mind, or you sit down with them and create uh, a style that's perfect for you. Ultimately, you end up with uh, a pair of sun uh, sunglasses that are one of a kind and made uniquely for you. I also mentioned at the beginning, their sunglasses come with an eye-watering premium. Priced into that premium is the prestige, the heritage, uh, the exclusivity, the quality of the materials, and of course, the craftsmanship that goes into those sunglasses. Looking at the prestige and the heritage, it's a family-run business that was started in 1930. And some of the most illustrious French nationals, past and present, have worn or continue to wear their sunglasses. So think, for example, fashion designer Saint Laurent, you have uh, men's tailor Chiffonelli, men's uh, shoe designer Corte, furniture designer Christian Liegra, President Mitterrand, uh, Jackie and Aristotle Anassis, for example. The exclusivity, they are focused, on, focused primarily on 
custom made sunglasses. So it's a design uniquely for you, but they also have what they call ready to fit sunglasses. A selection of classic styles. You come in, you see something you like the look of, you buy it and you can leave with it immediately. But their focus is on custom made sunglasses. The craftsmanship, the quality of the materials. The sunglasses are made in France and specifically in a place called Burgundy. And they work with three materials. Their base material is Italian acetate. Their hinges are all made in-house. But I'm being absolutely pedantic by saying this. And it's in no way to take away from the phenomenal quality of Maison Bonnet sunglasses. But Jacques-Marie Marsh's uh, hinges have a, a slight edge on Maison Bonnet in my eyes. They are absolutely impressive, but Maison Bonnets are still very good quality hinges. The second material is buffalo horn, and then the third material is tortoise shell. Tortoise shell, you're buying into a material that's incredibly luxurious and it's rare. They have two styles of sunglasses. You're custom made or you come in and you buy what they call ready to fit. A style you like, you buy it, you leave with it. In the Italian acetate, uh, ready to fit sunglasses are priced at 990, whereas the custom made uh, acetate priced at 1500 pounds. And they typically take two to three months to turn around. Buffalo horn, um, very similar to leather in that over time it develops a patina uh, as the horn mixes with the natural oils on your face you start to see subtle changes to the shade of the buffalo horn and then the top level is the tortoise shell tortoise shell is incredibly rare and it typically has a nine month turnaround period as they need time to source the tortoise shell you need a number of tortoise shells to create a pair of sunglasses but they don't actually make sunglasses for you for the first time from tortoise shell they will make them in another material acetate or buffalo horn and give you time to um, decide whether you like them what, what to tweak before they ultimately make a pair in tortoise shell and tortoise shell come in at an eye-watering seven thousand pounds their style is classic they have a number of styles in store which you can choose from and all their glasses um, come without nose pads they don't create nose pads at all for someone like myself who has a flat nose bridge what they would do is add additional material to the nose area um, in order to build the the additional height to the glasses so you can lift them but they they never put in nose pads into the sunglasses and of course because they're custom made they can make a number of tweaks add initials or an emblem or a motif whatever it is that you would like but what you're buying into with Maison Bonnet is the ability to create a one-of-a-kind pair of sunglasses. They're made perfectly for you. The comfort is supreme using the finest quality materials and exceptional craftsmanship to make a phenomenal quality, a phenomenal looking pair of sunglasses uniquely for you. That is what you're buying into. It's expensive, but if it's something you can afford, I wouldn't even hesitate and I'll do it in a heartbeat. I've given you a very carefully considered selection of five brands. All of them are assured quality. Um, it's entirely up to you how you look after them. That'll determine the longevity of the sunglasses, but they're all built very well, robustly, and it's how you look after them, um, how long your glasses uh, will last. Any questions, as always, let me know in the comments down below, but I look forward to seeing you all again soon. Thank you for watching.